Ho, ho, holy shit. Hey, what's happening, everyone? I am your Dragon God of Gaming, Damian Dragon, and welcome back to another episode of Batman. This time, Batman the Telltale Series. Yes, I have promised this for a very, very, very long time. I'm a man of my word. I am a man of uh, speculations. And to get this done a little bit more, and uh, because, well, there are times where I can uh, get this done. Um, I'm going to be treating these exactly like I'm gonna, I treated the Walking Dead Telltale series. Meaning, I'm going to be getting them done one after another after another. Now, I haven't visited the Telltale series for Batman in a very long time. So... Get the full experience. Why? Use a Telltale account to get access to new features and exclusive content. No! Give me the fucking shit that I paid for. <laughs> now, this is the only thing I had to look up. What the fuck Classic Mode is and Shadows Edition is. So this is how this is. Shadows Edition is basically a little bit more, you know, of a set experience. Like, this is a, 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 the regular experience of the game. Shadows Edition is more or less like having filters on it, a little bit of extra content, but not enough. That's exactly what I got or from what I uh, researched on Shadows Edition. I didn't want to look too deep into it, so I won't spoil anything for myself. So as you guys see, we have episode one, two, three, four, and five. So we're going to be doing these periodically. So, there's... Wait. The Wolf Among Us. Maybe. Maybe. The entire five-episode series with the Batman set. I already have it! Fuck. But, yeah, I had to purchase and install these last, um, last night before... Uh, before, uh... You know streaming this because I am streaming these to give me some more time believe me everyone's gonna forget about them before, <laughs> before these things go out so no worries so we have a timer here so episode one I just put it up, the shit up it's like bat tech oh okay color look at your your gadgets? Hey, yo! I like me a little bit of a red color. I like I like me a little bit of red. I like the blue. I like the blue. I don't think they give you a black color. This game series is a series adapts to the choices you make. The story is tailored by how you play. So I'm gonna use my own morality for these episodes. But before we get started, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell to get notified whenever I upload. Please and thank you. City Hall, 8.32 p.m. Okay. Why do you always have one? Oh, shit. Damn. He got capped. <laughs> Why? What did he do? What did homie do? He existed. That's it. What did he do? You you could have just stunned him. Get it open. On it. You could have stunned him. You think he's gonna show? We'll bring the whole goddamn place down. Stay focused. We'll be out of here before anyone can stop us. Sure. Ain't 
nobody helping this man. Oh. Christ. Move in. He got fucked. This poor oh, that bomb. It's like I don't need it. In body bags. No wonder the cops want him dead. Hey, you ever seen him? Yeah, Gotham Zoo. Well, the other fly hand. Oh, <laughs> no, your boy is here. Oh. Hi. <laughs> you see that? You sh you should already know. You had all the time in the fucking world. You had all the time in the fucking world. To move. You did not. What's good, dog? Bruce, you can't keep doing this. I have to. <laughs> no one else will. Every drop of blood, everything you've sacrificed. The city is safer now. It's made you a target. And people will keep you in the crosshairs until you're shot out of the sky. Criminals in this city. <laughs> they need something to fear. Shit! The hell healthy he gone? Whatever got in, don't let it get out. Like, you can help it. Oh. Oh. Oh, nah. You're on your own, homie! Oh, no! Oh, oh! Myth, but be careful you don't turn into a monster. Sometimes you leave a monster. Come on! Come on! Come on! Woo! Oh my God! <clears throat> Okay, he, he's done. He's done. He's done. Bro, he's done. He's done. 
your mother teach uh, you to Damn. Work? Behind you, big boy. <laughs> Sorry, beautiful, but this is not the way we're working. you're succeeding. Criminals are becoming afraid of you, so are the police. It's a scare tactic, Al. Just a performance. Why do you need a crowbar? You're strong enough already. Without a scratch. So far. That doesn't belong to you. I was wondering if we'd crossed paths. You broke the law. Here I am. <laughs> Cut the shit. The law. Don't tell me that's why you do all of this. Squeeze into a suit, tie on a cape. Most people dressed up like that end up in opera. No one else will. I'm the only one who gets the job done. Sounds lonely. Gotta admit it, though. You give a good chase. One day you might actually catch me. Tonight. Don't you know not to corner a wild animal? It's dangerous. And let's put you in a cage. Bring it back. Okay. the free flow of the Arkham games a little bit more mm. Mm. yeah you kind of deserve that homie miss some but why go to all that trouble for this shit the myth can't be killed you however are flesh and blood
Really? Goddamn. Dude has the grip strength of God. Ugh. Guess I was wrong about you catching me. Not sure if it was for my sake or yours. Don't struggle or you'll fall. Oh, but that's what you crave. The struggle. I know men like you. My grapple gun, bitch! Step out of the shadows and be Bruce Wayne tonight. Oh, that's a much harder fight. Don't let tombstones be your family legacy. Oh. Time to save the city. Okay. A successful first set of starting here. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. A humble district attorney like myself is not used to such a ringing endorsement. Even one who cut Gotham's crime rate in half. For too long, this city has burned with corruption and greed under Mayor Hill's authority. But I promise you, a vote for Harvey Dent is a vote to finally put your foot down. Together, we can stamp out the fire and save our great city. You know, for the many times I've kicked you in the fucking head, I don't think that that's a thing. Only Mr. Wayne, my campaign's largest backer, could have heard that applause, he would... Oh, there he is. Fashionable and fashionably late as always. Say hi, Bruce. Welcome to Wayne Manor, everyone. My apologies for the late arrival. Oh, I'm not to worry, Mr. Wayne. We've all made ourselves very comfortable. Thank you. Thank you again, everyone, for your unwavering support. Together, we will change God. Mr. Wayne, thank you for opening your house to us. Now, I know this is the biggest mansion in Gotham, but I don't think you got lost on your way here. <laughs> Where were you? I knew you prefer the brooding billionaire angle. So the sooner we make nice with the donors, the sooner everyone will leave you alone. Just wanted to make an entrance. Congratulations, you almost missed it. You are a pillar of this city and my campaign. I need you here, tuxedoed and shaking hands. No one came here tonight to see me. I want to see the Bruce Wayne, am I right? <laughs> then I can see him just fine from here. This shouldn't be painful. It's not a kidney stain. It's only a little face that kinda is. potential donors. Your face, specifically, with a mouth that's saying, Support Harvey Dent. You're the grease, they're the wheels. And you're rolling in enough cash and votes to help make Gotham a place for families again. Ah, a little liquid courage before facing your adoring public? This will help you too, Bruce. Once I've turned this city around as mayor, you'll be a hero for funding my campaign. Now all I need is a decent slogan. Terrible with those. It always makes me sound like a used car salesman. All right, all right. how about, uh, put a dent in crime? Who do you? It's not half bad. I like, a, I like a little slogans. Bruce, I know what I said. Together, you and me, we change Gotham. A city free from crime, where children can play in the streets again. That's what I want too, Harvey, but you know how rough it is. Harvey. We have to shake things up to make that happen. Well, we can start with a few hands. Hmm? Come on. Eh. to introduce you to Bob and Regina Zeller, Bob. Of course I know these two. Hello, Bruce. Regina here is the chairwoman of Wayne Enterprises, and her husband voted for Mayor Hill last time. I'll admit it, Mr. Wayne. I don't know Mr. Dent from a pothole on Main Street, but I trust your family. You believe in Dent? 
we believe in you. After all, whoever you support is a reflection on you. And we trust someone like you to lead this city to greatness. Well, thank you. But we're all here tonight because we want to make a difference. And that's what it's going to take. Every single one of us. Not just me, not just Mr. Dent. Everyone. Right, right. Of course. Old families like ours should flock together, you know. Like birds. You're preaching, dear. No, it's true. The Waynes and Zellerbox are reminders of the golden age of Gotham. Uh, this city's luster faded years ago, Mr. Dent. Look at Gotham now. Murder in the streets, corruption in City Hall, that Cape Bat Freak dealing out vigilante justice like it's the wild goddamn West. Oh, Bobby, regarding Golden Age, it seems you're getting cranky in yours. There's Damn. always hope. Forgive me for being blunt, but one man can't save this city. And it's a dangerous mentality to think so. That's how you get creeps like this Batman. Harvey Dent is our best shot. Put him in a room with anyone for 15 minutes, and that grin will win him over. He's gonna need more than that, son. Well, it hasn't been 15 minutes yet, Bob. We've still got time. And don't worry, though. I am not doing this alone. With Bruce's help, we're replacing the dangerously unsecure Arkham Asylum with a state-of-the-art mental health facility to help Gotham's most at-risk individuals. It will be dedicated to Thomas and Martha Webb in the hopes that their fate will never be repeated. After all your parents did for this city, to be killed in a botched robbery in some alleyway, it was terrible. Truly you think? Terrible. Uh, a tragedy like that at such a young age must have been crippling. If only that deranged man had gotten the right treatment, maybe... Well, I don't like to think about maybes, and I'm sure you don't either. Well, thank you. I wish my parents could be here speaking with you, too. And thank you, Bruce, for investing in the health of this city's future. You have our support, Mr. Dent. Go get him. We're on our way. <laughs> Not saying I doubted you, but that went better than expected. It is a night of ringing endorsements. The Walking Dead has uh, made things a little more better for me. Gotham's next mayor, and I'm eager to know you. Vicky Vale, not interested. Oh Ever God, Vicky Vale! This is a private fundraiser, Miss Vale. No reporters allowed. Well, you don't mind if I stay and ask a few questions, do you, Mr. Wayne? Well, you can ask me whatever you want at the press conference tomorrow. No, no, it's all right. You can stay. Thanks. Bruce. This is quite the social event, Mr. Wayne. Oh, come on now, it's so formal. Call me Bruce. Well, hey, the mil the millionaire playboy oh, looks. <laughs> you know, you know. How are you doing? If you know, you know. You should enjoy your own party before all the champagne runs out. Everyone loves the host. You're king for a day. Just a day? <laughs> I would have guessed Bruce Wayne has that feeling year round. Yeah, well, I take nights and weekends off. Mr. Wayne. You've got something on your collar. Uh, is that blood? You're blowing everything we drank for! Blowing it! Yeah. It looks like... Oh, this? No, it's nothing. It's just, uh, cut myself shaving. What? Butler didn't help you this time? Hey, kidding. Kidding. Well, do excuse me, Master Bruce, but, uh, another guest has arrived. I'm sure they'll find the bar. You may want to greet this one personally, sir. Carmine Falcone? Is the Dent campaign soliciting votes from Gotham's biggest crime family? Falcone's never been convicted of anything, except being a businessman who loves this city. Excuse us, Miss Bay. And what kind of business do you think he's in? The one that controls enough votes to get me into City Hall. This is the necessary evil of politics, Bruce. It's in the service of a better Gotham for all of us. At least hear him out before you kick him out. Falcone requested to speak with you directly. 
I don't like this, Harlow. I don't trust him. Thank you, Bruce. Seriously. You know I have to pull every string I can to get elected. Yeah, well, I'll just make sure this one doesn't hang me. Word of warning, Bruce. How many times have I fucked up Valcone? A lot. Really nice. I'll play whatever I want to play. Yeah, what do you I've been in the market for a new house. Decent walk-up, sky-high ceilings, plenty of room for my cars. I think I'll take it. Though the decor offends my eyes. <laughs> Man, all flash, no class. Let's talk privately, shall we? <laughs> I like this guy. Ready to do business before we even introduce ourselves. But we'll get to that. Come on, Felton. Thank you for welcoming me into your home. Just shake hands. Play nice. You're a respectable man, I mean. Bruce Wayne. I know who you are. The guy is going to sell me his house. Gentlemen, perhaps we'll all be more comfortable in the parlor. Follow me, if you will. As you should know, Mr. Falcone, my analysts say we're raising triple what Mayor Hill had... You'll be fine out there. I saw plenty of skirts to keep you busy for a few minutes. Harvey stays with us. A man's home is his castle. I respect that. Seen and not heard. Whatever you... I, I, what did I say? Ah, boy. Mr. District Attorney here wants to make sure the rules are fine. But in my experience, there's the law, and there's the one that's right. You understand? And I'd rather see Harvey actually help this city instead of just say anything. Unlike most people I've met, Harvey actually has integrity. He's trying to make Gotham a better place. So am I. So will you. Hey, we all carry the city on our broken backs. Might lighten the load if we do so. Lovely. Yet. Coffee, coffee, coffee. I think I need some. I ain't here to shinwag about politics, Mr. Wayne. Gives me indigestion. I got enough of that as is. So, let's talk relationship. Chalk this for me. Here, yeah, pal. I can get Harvey the mayor's seat. Or I can pull it out from under. Uh. Be respectful. Do what you need. Okay, imagine. This is me. And these are all my friends in Gotham. The businesses, restaurants, clubs, docks, you Think about some of the stuff days. later on. How the public perception will be. That's why I came here tonight to your lovely home, hoping to make a new friend. One who can help Mr. Dent see the light, if need Oh, I'm everyone's friend. Which means you really know what's. Pick a lane before you have a head-on collision. You listen to me, kid. I know somewhere inside that tuxedo you understand this situation. Money gets money. The risks, the alliances, the hidden costs. Your father knew which hands to shake. And which to break. Whatever you say. You're a good kid. You look like him, you know? It's nice that we understand each other. Master Bruce, your guests are leaving. I recommend seeing them out. You wouldn't want to be rude. Hey, I appreciate the hospitality, Mr. Wayne. But I, uh... <laughs> I don't think I'll put an offer on the house. A nice guy like you should have a nice place to live. I'll be seeing you, Bruce, while this city's still standing. 
Mm-hmm. Sure. Uh, what can I say about that? I'm just thinking more long-term than anything else. If this is what's going to be, it's more or less you got to make sure like to think about the decisions you're making right now. So, I'm thinking about them. Don't need another situation with the walk. <laughs> oh, fuck up, I've made that. design it looks really good especially for Batman the realm of shadows Okay, no problem. Alright. I don't want to do too much in the first episode. I did just get a feeler out in those episodes. So what we are going to do is next time I'm going to just do the entire episode. Because if I'm going to be doing all that, I think, okay. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know why that the stream is bugging out for you, but it's okay. For everyone else here sitting watching on the YouTube end, I'm going to collapse it in for this one. Uh, this will be the only probably 35, 40 minute episode that you'll see. Uh, the rest of the episodes will be full length, all unfiltered. So, no worries. So, they're going to get done in a timely manner, timely fashion. Things are going to get done one after another after another. So, don't worry about that. But if I remember looking it up, this the first episode of this is two hours long. Give me a moment. Okay. How are you too? Well, I'm glad you're enjoying it so far, though, love. And I'm glad everyone else is uh, having a little bit of fun. Don't worry. This is going to be its own little progress here. Hold on there, sweet baby. So I hope everyone enjoyed. Let me know down in the comments section below what you guys think. I hope everyone enjoyed. The next time, we're going to be doing the rest of episode one. I had a feeling that the first um, episode is going to be up to the, uh, you know, the first sequence. As it, it's been 34 minutes and believe me, that it, it, we just got past the, you know, the title card for the episode. So, hope everyone enjoyed. Thank you guys so much. Thank you guys so much for listening. I appreciate it. And I hope everyone enjoyed. Let me know down in the comment section below what you guys think. And I hope everyone has a beautiful day. And if you guys have not yet, go ahead and check out all of the stuff that I've been doing lately. And everyone just been having a wonderful day. I, I don't know when this is going to be coming out. 
because no one has uh, voted on it just yet. So I'm getting this done in the the off the off chance because when this is being done around the time where I ask everybody um what they wanted to see and uh, you know um when you guys wanted to see it. So I had it in my hands um, during the poll. So I'm like, okay, let me just get it done. Anyway, with that being said, thank you guys. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.